Hello everyone and welcome back to Steel Division 2. Today we are going to cast the tournament game from the Kingdom of Steel and it is going to pit two very good players, Japasa versus Jver Panzu Aptilung. So let's jump in right now and take a look at their deck real quick. And here we have it, Japasa's deck. And Japasai is going to go with a Festung Dunkirchen on a Maverick Income. He's going with Double Star Yacht Commandos both in A and B. Coming in with the Spot Hoop on, with uh, the, the Traction. And this is a very good thing to do. And I actually love this move because the Spot Hoop can actually kill quite a lot of people. And I was surprised by it myself when one day I've used these three. And I've unloaded them all three in the same houses. Um, neighbor one beside each other and they killed like five five or six entire infantry squad I was really surprised I did that was during one of my life I think and uh, since then I just have a new found love for the spat hoop uh, but yeah they can be good so anyway he's going also with the Lendus Schutzen um, I'm, I'm a little bit surprised by this call but it doesn't matter. Um, Landed Schusen, Stastrup, Jag Pioneer with the Jagdkampf as well, all in A face with AKM Führer. This guy has um, a lot of stuff. Actually, it's a very good leader unit. It costs 30 points too, but it's it's a good leader unit that can really um, lay it out. Then in phase B, we're going with the famous Festung Grenadier. Famous, I say, because these are famous to me. They're my favorite, favorite unit. They kind of replace the um, the Mustad Mint Lead in 70 ST. They are disheartened. They have 14 uh, bolt action rifle that does 1.4 damage. They have a machine gun. They can shoot on the march, and so they can shoot under 100 meters as well. They're just very, very good. And they are hard to kill because there's 15 of them. And on this Arten, they'll start running away pretty fast. So a good unit that you 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 might want to use. You should use in the forest uh, mostly. All right. With some Marine Infanterie in B-Face as well. Some KM Pioneer in B-Face. These guys has a Bazooka and more Jagdkampf. So there is no C-Face Infantry. Tanks are going with 1 star Panzer 4 in A face and 2 star Stug 3 in B. Uh, he's going here with the Trifecta. He's double vetting the machine gun. Alchem Flaffet also coming in A face with the IG-33. Only coming in B face will be the uh, Luftwaffe machine gun. Uh, they are disheartened. Martyr Trees, Pack 50 mil, Yag Panther all coming in A face with a Pack 40 in B. They're in the anti-air, there's going with uh, Flak 43, Flak 31, and in B phase, Flak 43, Flak 38. And so some really good unit here, especially the uh, Flak 38, 105 mil. This is an absolute beast. There's only two of them. Notice he's taking the little fly. Oh, sorry, the LaFly S35T, uh, these guys are extremely fast. They actually go uh, 70 km an hour. And they can they can bring um, heavy equipment, so take them. Seventy six mil, one fifty five, and then B face more one fifty five with some off map as well, and some battery Führer for B face. He's coming in with the AR one ninety six, which I believe is a mistake. Should come with some JU eighty eight, but whatever. And the O two seventeen in B face. All right, now we're gonna go take a look at Schwerpanzu. And here he is with his 116 Panzer on a Maverick income. Trapanzu coming in with the Ezekiel 258. These are the HE uh, lobbing um, vehicle. Coming with 234s and 2341. He's actually vetting up his SPW. We've talked about that in the last video. I don't know why people do that. Um, but whatever. And 234 is not vetted up. Then Stump Pioneers, Ersatz Pioneers, and Grenadier all coming in A face with a Panzer Grenadier leader coming in with the um, SDKFZ 251-9, which has a 75mm HE AP and a machine gun. This is a very good half track to have. Um, in B face, we're getting some Pioneer, Stump Pioneers, and unvetted Panzer Grenadier with the half tracks. 
this is very strange. It is very strange, but Trap Panzu is an excellent player, so let's not undermine his decision here. But to me, uh, to bring Panzer Grenadier without... Like, I get it, he doesn't have any C-face infantry, and that's why he did it, uh, to get numbers, but... I don't know. Anyway, we'll see uh, how he fares in the battle. He's going with Panzer Trees, Panzer Force, Panther in A-face. This is all very good. They're all uh, double vetted, except the Panther is one vet. And in B phase, he's coming in with four Panzer four and two Panther J only. So not a lot of medium tank either. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, Flamers, Machine Gun 42, Panzer Trees, and Grillet all coming in A phase with the Commander. And uh, anti tank, he's got the Panzer Shrek, Martyr Trees, Pack 40 in A and B, and also Yak Panzer 4 in B phase. So, I mean, the four Yak Panzer 4, four Panzer 4, and, Panther, and two Panther G, it, J is usually more than enough, um, you know, complemented with Mobile Wagon all the way for the anti air. Some Panzer Waffe 150 mil in A phase with the SKFZ 251, the half track motor basically in A phase as well. And uh, battery Führer and SK-18-105 mil. Weird how he didn't take the 150 mil, but I'm guessing he's, he wants to basically just use it as an counter battery position. So he's got four of them. They are pretty precise. Then BF-09 G6R6 with the JU-88A4. And the game has started... Japasa will be in the red corner with Schwer Panzu Aptelung in the blue corner. Japasa already opening up with a 1AR 196A3 to get some good eye at what's going on. In the town, we're going to go with some Flamers, some Recon Car, and a couple of uh, Panzer Grenadier. Over here in the middle, oh, sorry, they're all coming into town. He's also going for the woods here, and he's also bringing someone here. Who is that? A f a, f a f no. A pentagon idea. Wow. Okay. Fat hoops are actually just doing some regular reconning. Um. Wow. He's actually he's going away. He saw with the recon that there was nothing coming for the middle, and decided to go over here in the woods. Very abnormal move from Schwer Panzu. Coming in with the BF-109 to take out the AR, but there is some flak over here. But very normal move, and obviously he's counting over here of his opponent wasting a lot of stuff in the middle so that he can better move into town. Now you see he's got lots of Recon vehicles, 234, SKZ-258. These can be shot at by the Erkem Uh but I mean, honestly, there's, there's a lot here to unload. And there you go. Now he's going to destroy this, leaving the room for the Panzer Grenadier. A very excellent move from Schwer Panzu. I love having him in my tournaments because he is a very good player. And, um, well, I mean, other, other players too. But I don't see much of uh, Schwer Panzu. So when I saw his save file, I figured I would cast this game. And I did very well because I love his opening so far. There's also a leader coming in here for these guys. Lots of troops in these forests. Basically not going here. Really, really hoping the room for him. Ersatz Pioneer with the Stone Pioneer took care of everyone. There is a spa troop here from Japasa. He will get it. Most likely. Yeah, there you go. Japasa will call in some landed Schutzens to reinforce over here. He does have, you know, some very good troops with the Yak Commando and Yak Kampf. He's moving them on the side. He's not going to be able to um, go in the woods or defeat that 251. Well, actually, yeah, he does have a bazooka, but he... Uh, yeah, it could be possible, but he's not going for it anyway. There's a pack 50 mil coming in over here with some martyr trees as well to destroy these guys. Over here, the London Schutzen are fully taking back position. There is only one flamer holding this little thing. Shrapansu doesn't want to risk it. He could, he should, but he doesn't. Erkim von Flaffet starts shooting at the Ersatz Pioneer. These will put these guys out of action pretty quick. Not even. There you go. 
And now this one starts shooting as well. Look at that fire. Wow. These guys, it is not their lucky day. Uh, two Erkamp and Flaffet like that beside each other can do some damage. I find they are not that good in closer range, though. Um, they do have a lot of suppress. But they, they, they do badly in closer range, I feel. Anyway, um, Jagdkampf, Jagdkommando, everyone is 3-star. Uh, no, that's not true. Just these guys. They are moving up, though. <laughs> I saw this, I was getting excited about the 3-star, but it's only this dude. Pack 50 also coming in over here to defend these guys. Um, machine Gun, two, as you can said, and Martyr Tree will not be able to do much around here. Now there is no more CQC, so excellent move from Japasa. Able to retake control over here. Trapanzu is taking position over here with some Pioneers and Flamers. These Yag Pioneer, they do have Flamers as well. There's some Flamers here and some Yag Kempf. They could possibly retake this, but they don't need to. Their flag is over here, and it is not in danger. We're still hesitating for these flags. Uh, obviously, we can't capture this one as long as the Martyr Tree is there. So, uh, Shopansu will have to get an answer. He detected or assumed that the enemy was here, and so he's shooting there. It's a, it's a very good assumption you know with the front line and you got to use the front line to your advantage in these position and there you go sgfz mortar going to be really accurate because he's in his own radio range yakemf and yak commando coming in to help that london shusen now the pens are going to do will not be able to destroy all of this there's also an ar196 that will try to detect what's lurking around. Flag taken, flag given to Panzu. The flag take it, and the flag give it. There you go. BF-109 destroy 196R before the flag 43 has time to move in position. Martyr tree will go against who? He's going after that uh, pencil gun idea. Shapanzu automatically sees that and will remove himself. MG42, I don't know what happened there. A misclick or something happened. He was probably over here when that happened. Uh, but unfortunately, he lost a very good unit. I wonder why why he would do that uh, in the first place. And BF-109 leaving. There's a flamer here. He's going to get destroyed by that 258. And this one. There you go. Not even. Oh my lord. Actually died from the flames. That was unexpected. Alright. Pack 40. Coming in over here. Could. I hope he unloads way before. Because that is very dangerous. There's also a grill. So. Uh, Shrapansu is definitely using. Every avenue he can to take advantage. Over here. He's losing pretty bad. Reinforcement is coming, but I'm not sure if... Uh, oh, Martyr Tree coming in over here. I'm not sure if that's a good decision as well because there's no tanks or anything here. Um, but, you know, they, they do have some HE shells, but only seven of them, which isn't much. Yeah, Pioneer coming in for the woods here. Pack 40, Grill. Grillé. Are going to do some damage to this martyr. SPW 234 taking out the Pack 38. Well, actually, no, he's not taking it out, but he is shooting at it and he is resisting quite a lot. Wow, I'm surprised there. Pack 50 dying. These guys are going to be able to move themselves higher up. There is now the infantry took position in these houses. So now it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Trapanzu will bring some machine gun. He's starting to control the entire town here. 
IG-33, FLAC-43, Pack 50 There is some support unit now. Panzer IV is also coming. This one's been giving the order to move fast. Ooh, nice shot from the IG-33. Instantly heals that Pack 40. Really? Is, is, is he <laughs> He's going in point blank range, uh, but it doesn't look like since he's on the hill he can't shoot. That's unfortunate because that Panzer IV is coming. All right, over here, Japasa will move in for the kill. This guy's still stuck. Martyr Tree, SGFZ, doing some good job together against that Pack 50. Pack 50 will start shooting, but he will probably die before shoot once and miss. And there you go, sneaky shot from the Pack 50. Kills that martyr tree. Schwerpanzu will move this guy around. And the machine gun. But the Erkamp from Flaffet takes out the machine gun straight away. Nice, uh, nice position there, actually. And there you go. Everyone dying on that hill. There's some Stas Truppen coming in as well. And over here, they also died from the Flamers. More infantry plus leader is being called in. 1410 for Shrapanzu. Japasa is in real trouble now. Martyr tree versus martyr tree. One shoot first. And he kills it. He is one star two. This one was unvetted. Grenadier versus Yakemf. The Grenadier will most likely die. Plus, yeah, the, the Yakemf was inside a house. It is not going well for Japasa, but it is only 13-11 so far. Not the end of the world either. Um, he's starting to really... Well, he hasn't started. He's completed the mission. He has captured the hill. Now, there is no coming back here for Schwarzpanzu unless uh, he invests in a mortar. That's all he's got. Panzer tree will start taking out that flag 43. Almost kills it. Will kill it. There you go. It's dead. Wow. Dead by Panzer tree. This has to hurt. But this isn't just any Panzer tree. It's a Panzer tree N. It is the end of the line of Panzer trees. It's a very, very efficient Panzer tree. Don't be fooled by looking at it and thinking this isn't optimized for warfare. It's, I believe. No, I could be wrong there, but I believe this is one of the last in uh, in production. Like this is the absolute absolute Panzer tree um, that the German army decided to go with. Heat rounds going at 100 mil, AP rounds and HE. Uh, but as you know, do your Google research because I could I could very well be wrong here. I used to be a reliable source in all things World War II, but that was when I was young, when the internet didn't exist, and I was the only guy in the village who knew everything about World War II. <laughs> time change. Time change. With the introduction of the internet, now there's always someone smarter than you. There's always someone... Oh my lord! No way! Oh, this is bad. This is very, very bad. That Grilly coming, but... Going to manually shoot, but he, he now he will go over here. He's still not going to be in range of these, uh, of these guys. Pioneers arrived. Will unload. The 
yeah, so anyway, I was saying uh, with the internet, there's always someone who knows more than you. And it's fine. It's it's pretty good like that. Um, I actually learned something very important the other day. I was We were talking about how the Canadian Canadians were the best, you know, the, that we have that reputation of being polite and nice and all that. And uh, he was like, do you know what, because Can I'm Canadian. He's like, do you know what Canadians did during World War One?" And of course, um, I didn't because I have no interest in World War One whatsoever. And um, actually, I found out that we were quite cruel in World War One. We tortured a lot of uh, prisoners um, of war. And um, yeah, it was a sad realization. They didn't teach that in school, obviously, <laughs> but they should. They should, because otherwise, how can you learn from it, you know? Anyway. <coughs> These guys using the AP shell is a big problem here. Oh, there you go. Now, Shapanzu saw that. He removed that AP shell. That is unfortunate. Alright, he's going to come back at the charge. He is, though, on the hill. But let's take a look at this. Um, oh no, I want it hiding like this. He is on the hill, so I hope he's not going to be stuck. Heals that Panzer IV straight up. And will now continue his way. FZKZ doing a lot of damage here. He's going to try to go around that Stug and try to get a uh, side shot. Let's take a look at that as well. Will he? Oh, no. The Stug just saw that a miles away. And there you go. He died. Panzer, and a mortar was finally called in here and that actually allowed him to get back on track because there's only so much place you can hide you know there's there's just that basically leader coming in really close to everyone another martyr was called in km marine infantry is going a little bit everywhere 1311 for japasa now Panzu has the complete control of the sky. This shouldn't happen with Festung, but these pro players don't usually invest a lot in anti-air. Um, but he will have no choice. Japasa is calling in a Flak 38105. Not only is it good anti-air, but it will destroy everyone um, trying to sneak around here. I, I bet Japasa is really tired of uh, Panzu having a position on this hill. Black 88 destroying infantry there. And there you go. The the mission the mission success was short-lived has Japasa retake the entire ground again. So this hill taken, loss, taken, loss. What is next for it? Will he invest more troops? It looks like he will continue to fight for it. He's trying to get that flag as well there's a pack 40 here it could be very dangerous i don't know why he's not i guess i know why he doesn't want to get shot by infantry yak panzer also coming over here really dangerous this is uh a lot of yankov here with bazookas the panzer gonna they are trying to make a dash for this ground but there is a stug here going to be very difficult When the Schusen called in to hold the flags, a flag 31 
coming in also on the hill. Forgotten units here, very dangerous. Took tree getting the Spencer Grenadier. Another one coming as well. Over here, they're going to move pack 38, shooting at the Stone Pioneer, killing them for sure. And there you go, one dead. Yak Panzer will engage that Stone Pioneer's. Stone, uh, I mean, sorry, that pack 38. Pack 38 cannot shoot that Yak Panzer, but here comes the Grilly trying to come in and save the day. Shoots and dies himself. He did kill that Pack 38, but uh, it, it's an it's an it's an interesting option because Yak Panzer was not threatened by that uh, Pack 38. Over here, the Hellsats will move forward. They are going to be met by the two star Yak. Not you. By the two-star Yagkamp. And look at that. The forests are pretty much all destroyed. By flames. Man, this forest has been burnt down. I wish this would give more visibility to troops. Uh, but it doesn't. Alright, Grede dies. Shoots at the Stug. Or the Yakamf, either way. Panther J coming in. Uh, Panther G, sorry. Panther G coming in. Ooh, get a bad shot on himself. Highly suppressed now. These Tugs cannot hit, so in the end, the Panther wins. But I don't think he would have lost anyway, but still, it was a bad shot he received. Over here, the Yakamf uh, destroyed the enemy. Some pioneers got back into the half tracks for safety. Oh, look at that. There's a lot of people on this hill. They're trying to assault the forest over here. And some of them looks like they're, they'll make it. They are making it. There you go. These guys are moving in as well. As the Luftwaffe, oh my lord, but there you go, big artillery, big mortars landing will make everyone fall back for a life. They were almost there, um, oh boy, ow. This is artillery, is this an off map? What is this? Oh, that's a Panzerwerfer. Oh, there you go. Yeah, the Festungs are now falling back for their life. It doesn't matter. They don't have to fight back to regain the hill only when they get on the top position. These guys are going to go back and run inside the forest. Yagpanzer being shot at by the side. This is very dangerous. Could kill it. Oh my lord. This guy keeps missing. Panzer Shapanzu sees that a little bit too late, but now what? He decided to... Oh, no. That that was an interesting move. Panzer Pfeffer going at the 88 mil here. Eighty-eight mil will get bombed in the end. All the cannons are getting destroyed by airplanes currently. This one's still alive. Well, they're all still alive, but they're in pretty bad shape. Oh man, that is so bad for that Yak Panzer. There is no more reinforcement coming in, and Schwer Panzu has lost control of the town. He still has got both flags and a fair amount of leeway in between, so he's good. There you go. There's some half track coming in. Infantry will unload, shoot at these Festung Grenadier. These guys are still trying to assault that hill. Going to fall back. These guys can still do it. And it's just uh, they're very, very slow to assault.
It looks like they're gonna sit there. Alright, uh, uh, Shrapanzu is still trying to get on top of this hill. This is an. If this is not going well, and uh, there is some Pesavafa, but it doesn't look like there's any ammo coming in. And that Aftrak was very, very good at helping these troops get in the last time, so I wish there was some ammo being given somewhere. Pack 40 will get to shoot at these half tracks. One dead. And. Oh. He has to turn. He's not going to be able to in time. Yes. Another dead. BF-09 goes down as well. 13-11 for Japasa. Pack 40 laying out the HE shells. Over here there's only SGFZ and Jagdpanzer. Pack 40 coming in for that three-star three -star Stug. There's more Stug around here. There's Oh, finally, we see that Yak Panzer. Oh, man. Uh, but it is still a dangerous... Oh, no way. That sneaky Pack 40 kills everything. Dead by Grilledo, but still very good. That 105 is also giving some thoughts. Pack 40 here. Cannot see that Yak Panther. This is a two star Yak Panther, ladies and gentlemen. This is not going down. Not in the ends of Japasa. Is it Japasa or Yapasa? I should have asked him before. I've been saying Japasa all the time, but I doubt that's how it's actually pronounced. Two goes down, but so did the Yak Panther and the Half Tracks. Troops are getting over here. The, the Festung in the forest, man. I told you guys these were good. Over here, we're being hit by 150 mil. Oh, it looks like Yapasa will win the game. Yes, there is no winning against the Festung. Once, once they are inside the woods... And finally, some of them, you know, made it. Ten of them made it inside these woods. They can now hunt. Um, but boy, a lot of these guys died assaulting. Unfortunately, the bodies don't stay on the ground. There was a mud for it. Or, um... I don't think it's being updated anymore. Ajabansu is still holding on to this pretty well, but there is actually uh, not a lot of big, uh, not a lot of support weapon now. So there's no. Oh boy, he's doing this again. And of course it dies. And Battery Fuel are coming in with some Pezzogonadir as well. Ammo truck finally there. But it, it's not going well. It is not going well. He's almost losing this as this Yakamp move further and further. There you go. Now he's 1410 for Yapasa. I'll keep saying Japasa because I don't know if it's that or not. But I've been saying Japasa this entire time, so if I got it wrong, at least keep steady with it. There is a Stug tree. IG-18, 105. There's a lot of support unit for Japasa. Another IG-18 coming in here as well. These guys are inside the mainframe. They will unload and face these Jagdkampf. Jagdkampf, extremely good unit. They are finding G... They are shooting G-43, but they only have six of them. So, it's still 0.9 compared to, you know... As they're gonna do his 0.7, but they also got the submachine gun. So at range, we've actually lost. Uh, here you go. At a range of 100 meter, they can do an extra 1.6 damage. So they are good at long range, medium range, and CQC. Well, of course, they're not the greatest CQC <laughs> unit, but they do have what it takes to hold their ground. That's for sure. And Pioneer almost shoots. He, did he? 
he missed if he did or did he kill something here yeah kill the half track here spw 2341 there's more 150 mil killing that ig833 uh, right off the bat now what he needs is absolute firepower here and try to recapture this he's definitely not abandoned the id as he brings reinforcement Oh man, these guys are going down. He's making a lot of micro mistake, which is understandable at this point during the game. He's being rushed everywhere. Um, he needs to get in, but honestly, one stone pioneer definitely not going to do it versus all of this. Um, he doesn't know, you know, he doesn't know there's all that. That JU88 was going for, I don't know what, but should have come for that forest. Stone Pioneers against two Pioneers. One of them gets to throw the TNT. Doesn't do a lot of damage because uh, this one was falling back. But, you know, he will die. There's nothing else to back him out here. Back him up. Oh, man. There's a lot of support unit now. Lots of pack 40s. This is what Festung does. You know, it has a lot of support unit. And you have to use them. And the Festung Grenadier are doing really, really good. Wherever these guys are deployed, it's bound to create a lot of suppression. Ooh. Oh, this guy. Did you see him die? Wow. They're going to fall back now from that stone pioneer. Yeah, Kemp coming in into the town, though. Being pushed really hard here. There you go. Another recon dead. These guys are going to fall back. They're holding the ground for now. Uh, but yeah, the um, artillery is a little bit everywhere. He's trying to really hit hard his support weapon. But there's uh, uh, there's so many that Japasa can feel. I, I feel it would be better used if he would just bomb this and, and then move in. That is the AKZ. Um, died the recon thing. I think it might have died around here. Fourteen ten, I believe it's over for Japansu. You cannot match the spam ability from Festoon like that in the long game. Not with 116 at least. Now this tournament you have to you can only select a division once and so it feels to me like Japasa chose one of his good division. Uh, because I think uh, Festung is a good, is a very good division, and Frappanzu picked one of his bad division. Um, I don't know how they both feel about their own division, but I feel like the next game, game two, uh, Frappanzu will probably pick something more efficient if he wants to stay in the game. But anyway, he'll have to fight everyone of his own group. And that was apparently the other player disconnected. Which is strange. Um, I wonder how they're going to fix this. I, I have to assume Japasa wins because, um, you know, even though... I, f I think Shrapanzu was up in points from the earlier time. Whoever disconnected, you know, w the advantage given to the other person. And it was Shrapanzu that disconnected because it says uh, minor defeat. I kind of hate disconnections. <laughs> um, back 50 mil did good. Tensor 4 as well. Back 40. Took the Panther J, the Panther G, and the Panzer Trees, and the Grille. That was a very good pack 40. Jakemf did excellent. Pack 40 again did excellent, but uh, mainly just the half track. 
everyone did good. That Yag Panther it was of not a big use, but still, you know, it uh, it was scary. <laughs> scary to be against that for sure. BF09 G6 R6 J6 G6 R6 did take out a few units. Um, everyone was pretty okay. Grele as well. Yak Panzer IV destroyed some infantry. There's not a lot of kills when you think about it. like you. We've just watched the game. It feels like there was more people that died than all of than just these guys. Uh, but I guess not. I guess not. All right, everyone. Well, be sure to be there tomorrow for game two of Japasa versus Sharpanzu in the Kingdom of Steel tournament. If you like this content, like and subscribe, and have a great day. Goodbye.